Their annual series of North American shows with New Japan doesn't feel like quite as big a deal as it used to, but Ring of Honor, Ro, still geared up to make their four War of the Worlds events this week as big as possible. Streaming on the promotion's Honor Club service, Ro had championship matches and intercompany showdowns lined up for Lowell, Massachusetts, Toronto, Royal Oak, Michigan and Chicago. Even without the buzz of past years, when American and Canadian audiences didn't get a chance to see Japanese stars like Tetsuya Naito as often, and a lot of the row roster was regularly showing up on New Japan cards, reports make the first two nights, Lowell was Wednesday May 9th while Toronto was last night, Friday May 11th sound like fun. But injuries to a couple of row main eventers have forced changes and made the company's job harder. World champ Dalton Castle is dealing with a back injury, and Pointsider reports they're giving him as much time to heal as they can in hopes he'll be good to go for their next pay-per-view, PPV, June's Best in the World from Baltimore. He was set to close the show in Lowell by defending his title against Matt Tavin, and to take part in 8-man on Friday. Both shows had to be configured to deal with his absence. Now, former world champ Jay Lethal was injured, in the Toronto Tag Team match in which Castle was originally scheduled to take part. What exactly is keeping medical officials from clearing Lethal hasn't been revealed, but Toy Insider says they've heard it happened during a spot where he was powerbombed onto a railing. His spot in another multi-man tag on Saturday night will be taken by New Japan's KUSHIPA. Here's hoping Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks and ROH's other big stars stay healthy, and best to Castle and Lethal as they heal up.